Welcome to Dublin Today. I'm Stacy Brooks over at East Lawrence High School. We've got a special treat for you guys uh, today. We have the East Lawrence High School Band, also their fifth grade band, and their middle school bands are going to be performing their Christmas uh, musical. So it's definitely a great day in Dublin. Stay tuned. We're looking forward to hearing some great music and getting in the Christmas spirit.
What if there was a paint that had the power to awaken something old or painfully dated or something you simply thought was lost forever because it could form a strong bond regardless of age. If a paint could give any time-worn surface stunning new life, you have to wonder, is it still paint? Regal Select Exterior from Benjamin Moore, only available at independently owned paint and hardware stores. Available at Four Seasons Paint and Floor Covering. Hello, I'm Darren Keene with Clements & Keene Insurance. If you're like myself, you may be a self-employed individual with maybe one or two employees on your payroll. You may have thought in the past that you couldn't acquire group health insurance, but now you can. Some of the rules and regulations have changed to make it more favorable for you to do so for 2018. Give us a call at 272-8019 and let us help you with the decisions that you need to make for you and your business.
Merry Christmas from everyone at Kay's Electronic Vapor, located on Rice Avenue in Dublin, and saving you this holiday season. Save 20% off all starter kits, 15% off all tanks, buy one, get the second at half off on all Space Jam, Hangar, all juices, and blister packs too. During Kay's Electronic Vapor's Christmas sale, you can't help someone stop smoking this year. Start vaping with the help of K's Electronic Vapor, 1505 Rice Avenue in Dublin. Call ahead at 272-2072. And Merry Christmas from everyone at K's Electronic Vapor. The employees and the owners of K's wants to thank everyone for their loyal support since 2012. Y'all come on down to see us. Hi, I'm Anna Grace with Myers Equipment and Supply your dealer for the complete line of Can-Am side-by-sides and ATV products. For hunting, farming, or riding the trails, Can-Am has the models you need. If you choose the Can-Am Defender side-by-side, -side, which is engineered to maximize a hard day's work on the farm or on a hunt, Defenders offer 20% more torque than its rivals. You can carry 1,000 pounds of payload or tow 2,000 pounds of cargo. You will appreciate Can-Am's precision engineering and industry-leading performance. Come into Myers Equipment today and see the full line of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. Can-Am, the ride says it all. Welcome back. Thanks again for joining us today for Dublin Today. Got Mr. Jonathan Sin here. He's the East Lawrence uh, High School Band Director. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about himself and the different programs he's working with because I really enjoyed hearing the choir as well. That's my first time hearing them, so I want you to let our viewers at home know about all the great things you guys have going on over here at East Lawrence. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, I am Jonathan Sin. I'm the band director and chorus director over here at East Lawrence High School. Uh, tonight we did our annual Christmas concert. Uh, it always features, obviously, the, the bands. We start out with the beginning band made up of the fifth and sixth graders. Then we go to the uh, middle school concert band, and then we kind of interject the choir in there, and then we have the high school band that performs. So uh, we have a variety of music for anybody who's interested. So, and I also, um, it's definitely worth noting, so this is the first year in a while that you guys have had fifth grade band, is that right? Right. Last year with the uh, changing of uh, principals and what have you, the scheduling got mixed up and so we actually didn't have fifth grade beginners last year. So it was a treat to, uh, it was a treat to hear them tonight after all the hard work they've put in since August. You know, playing an instrument, it's, it's, it's not easy and uh, you, you have to tote this huge brass instrument all over the place so you got to hang on to a clarinet and not drop it and so for, for these fifth graders to not only be able to manipulate the instruments, but read a completely different language of music and notation, uh, they did an outstanding job tonight. I was real proud of them. You know, back in the day, I actually played trombone, and it was very difficult. People think that picking up an instrument and you go to school and you just learn it, but it, it takes a lot of dedication and hard work to really be in the band. And with so many schools doing away with music programs, right. how important do you think music really is? I know, I feel like it's a, it's a very important aspect um, of their academic level. I feel like it helps them succeed more. As a band director, what do you think in regards of how music helps these students? Right, well, you know, there have been several studies that show that <clears throat> people that do music and that are involved in music, no matter whether it's chorus or band, they, uh, they learn better. Uh, it's the, the rote memorization of having to learn something. Uh, it gives the, the kids uh, a great self-confidence because you start out not knowing how to do something and then you work at it you fix the small details and then you get to see the big picture. So whenever these people get, you know, whenever these students get hired as adults and young adults, they become supervisors and leaders because they can see how to work a problem and to fix it. And employers, you know, that's definitely when you got somebody that can think, that's the person you put in charge. 
Right. Absolutely. Well, it definitely was a treat and not to mention, um, it's also worth mentioning, and we have students from all over our county that actually get scholarships for performing musical instruments. So, right. you know, that's that's another aspect. But they, I definitely enjoyed myself. I know our viewers are. It was quite a, quite a treat and I thank you for taking a few minutes of your time with well, us. Thank you, ma'am. I hope everybody enjoys it. Got some special guests here with me. I've got Elizabeth and Madison Andrews. Madison, tell us what instrument you play. I play bass clarinet. And how long have you been in the band? I've been in the band since sixth grade, so four years now. So do you really enjoy playing? Do you play all year, marching band, concert season? I play uh, all year. Uh, for my marching season, I play clarinet. And then for concert season, I play bass clarinet, actually. Okay. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What are you, are you involved in any clubs? What's your favorite subject? Um, I'm in Skills USA, uh, and my favorite subject is math and science, of course. Uh, but explain about Skills USA. Uh, Skills USA is where we compete, and we find our skills, what we're interested in, and like I'm, I want to be a veterinarian, so I'm in the medical field. Oh wow! So do you think your time in the band helps you with that work as far as far as working together as a team? Yes, ma'am. It helps us a lot because basically a band is basically a big family, so we work together as a team to make us sound great and work through it. All right, and this is Elizabeth. A lot of y'all of our viewers, I've introduced her before. This is my Elizabeth, Elizabeth Brooks. Now, Elizabeth, tell us what instrument you play. I play the flute. The flute. And how long have you been playing the flute? Um, since fifth grade. Are there any other instruments that you can play that you might have taught yourself? Uh, I can play the ukulele. The ukulele. So one day maybe you can give us a ukulele interview. Do you feel like the band is really like one big family to you guys? Yeah, it is. I found a lot of friends here. And so do you feel like it helps you as well in your other areas? You kind of come together and work together. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite subject and what are some things you're involved in? Um, my favorite subject is Probably world history, and I'm also in Schools USA. I'm in Beta Club. Um, that's about it. So band, I would say, helps make you guys some pretty well-rounded students. So academically, I know that you're great students as well. So I appreciate you ladies taking a few minutes with us. Really enjoyed the concert tonight and look forward to seeing many more great things from you guys. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us. I'm joined now with some more very special, talented students. We've got Sines and Anna. So I'm going to have you guys tell me a little bit about yourself. Sines, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Sines Moon. I'm in the 10th grade at East Lawrence High School, and I am a trombone player and a baritone player and a tuba player <laughs> and I am also the section leader for low breast. Wow you play a lot of instruments now is it hard keeping all those instruments separate? Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, so you're just you're you're an awesome all-around band student then are you going to pursue music in the future in college you think? Uh, well I was thinking about majoring in music but I'm not exactly sure. I know I wanted to do marching band in college so. <laughs> Awesome. So I know you'll be a great student. A lot of great colleges, a lot of great scholarships available. That is amazing that you're able to play that many. All right. You tell us a little bit about yourself. My name's Anna Covington. I am a 10th grader. I play the French horn and I can also play the mellophone and I'm the only one in the high school band at the moment. Uh, I'm the treasurer of FCCLA and I'm also in beta. Wow, so we've got some very well-rounded academic students. Do you think that band helps you in your other subjects to succeed? I do. Um, whenever you're in band, you're always taught to show up early on time, and that helps a lot whenever you're going to school or whenever you're meeting at the school for any activity or extracurricular or anything like that, and it's really great. So is Mr. Sin and Ms. Jones, are they, um, are they those band directors that if you're on time, you're late? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's not always a bad thing because they're teaching you to be on time. So thank you, ladies, for taking just a few minutes with me. Really enjoyed the program tonight and can't wait to see you guys again. I hope you guys had as much fun today as I did. It was great being over at East Lawrence High School, of course, hearing everything from the fifth grade through seniors. They did an awesome job. I really enjoyed uh, each band, brought something different to the table, and loved the choir. I think that's an amazing outreach. As Mr. Sin, uh, you may or may not have heard, they actually get to go out in nursing homes. They're sort of using that as a ministry here through East Lawrence, which I think is amazing. So it's definitely been a great day in Dublin today.